right, so we're diving deep today deep. into the world of ultrasound guided vascular access. Yeah. You know, getting those IVs and lines in right. quickly. And especially in emergencies. Especially in emergencies. Yeah. Um, we're going to be looking at the work of Dr. Aviji Barai. Okay. He's an emergency medicine consultant. Right. And he's really known for his work with critically ill patients. Critically ill patients. Yes. So 10 practical tips from him today. Oh. Um, whether you are a seasoned pro, a seasoned pro, yes. or just interested in healthcare, love it. Um, I think there's going to be something in here for you. I think so, and I think there might be a few surprises along the way. Oh, I love surprises. Yeah. Okay, so ultrasound guidance. Yeah. It's really changed the game, hasn't it? It really has, especially in it. emergency medicine. Oh, absolutely. When you, you need to get that access fast. Yeah. And Dr. Bry, yeah, he's all about that efficiency and safety, right? Right. Yeah. And that systematic approach yes. when every second counts. Yeah, absolutely. So let's jump into his first tip. Okay, let's do it. Optimizing the ultrasound settings. Okay, so tip number one. Yes. Optimizing those ultrasound settings. You've got it. Getting that perfect image. That's key, right. It's harder than it sounds. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. I mean, there's an art to it. There's an art to it. It's like uh, adjusting your camera right. for that perfect shot. All right. So you need that high frequency linear probe. Okay. Think of it like yeah. you're zooming in on those veins. Okay. Uh, and then you adjust the depth. Okay. So you're focusing right there, just mm. below the skin. Okay. And then tweaking that gain yeah. to optimize the contrast. Oh. So the veins just pop right out. They pop back against the tissue. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. It does. Okay. So tip number two. Tip number two. Right. Positioning. Right. Extend the limb, use a tourniquet. But I mean, come on. What about in the ER? Oh, the real world. It can't be that easy, can it? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So ideally, yeah. perfect patient, right? Yeah, okay. Calm, cooperative, mm -hmm. stable environment. Right. But we both know uh -huh. that the ER is not always like that. No. You might have patients in pain. Of course. Agitated. Yeah. Limited mobility. Right. So that's where the real skill comes in. Yeah. Being adaptable. Right. Finding ways to optimize that positioning. Right. Even in those tough situations. Yeah, you got to think outside the box sometimes. You do, you do. Okay, so let's say you've got the perfect image. Right. Now, how do you actually navigate that needle? Okay. That's where tip number three comes in. Okay, hit me. Mastering those two key ultrasound views. Okay. So I like to think of it like a pilot using instruments okay. to guide a plane for a smooth landing. Right, I like that. Yeah, so the short axis view, that gives you a cross section, Okay. helps you find the vein. All right. Then you switch to the long axis view. Okay. And that lets you guide the needle yeah. along the length of the vein. Right, and you want to keep it- Perfectly aligned. Perfectly aligned. Yes. Gotcha, okay. So it's all about that perfect alignment yeah. for a smooth and accurate insertion. Makes sense, okay. So two views working together. Got it. Short axis to find it, yeah. long axis to guide it. Right. Smooth landing. Perfect. Okay. So we've got the image. Yeah. We've got the needle. Right. But how do we know for sure? Oh, that's a crucial point. Yeah. We don't want to hit an artery. Right. So how do we make sure we're hitting a vein? So tip number four is all about confirmation. Okay. You got to be sure you're targeting a vein. Right. Of course. And not an artery. Right. So Dr. Barai, he uses a simple compression technique. Okay. You can know the difference that way. Right. But especially when you're starting out, he recommends using color Doppler. Okay. It gives you that extra layer of reassurance. Yeah, peace of mind. Exactly. You know you're on the right track. So it's like a double check. It is, it is. Just to be absolutely sure. Absolutely. Okay, so let's say we've got the right spot. Right. Now, how do we get that needle in smoothly? Okay, so this might sound basic. Okay. But tip number five is steadiness. Okay, right. You know how a surgeon yeah. needs a steady hand? Yes. For delicate procedures? Of course. It's the same here. Okay. Minimizing movement oh, of the probe, of the needle. It's a steady hand. It's key for accuracy. Right. And for patient comfort. If you're shaky. You could miss the vein. Yeah. Multiple attempts. Right. More pain for the patient. Okay. So yeah. it's more than just the technical skill. It is. It's about staying calm under pressure. Yeah. Especially in those emergencies. Yeah. It's easy to get flustered. Right. But that calm focus, that's what leads to precision and good patient care. So calmness is key. Calmness is key. All right. So moving on okay. to tip number six. All right. Angle of approach. Oh, yeah. 
I have to admit, I never thought about this one before. It's subtle, but yeah. so important. Right. So Dr. Barai, he recommends a yeah. shallow angle okay. between 10 and 30 degrees, mm -hmm. because if the angle is too steep, yeah. you could puncture through the back of the vein. Oh, okay. And a shallow angle yeah. lets you see the needle tip the whole time. Right, so you can adjust if you need to. Exactly. Okay. So shallow angle, continuous visualization. No sense. Key for accurate placement. Okay, and that actually leads us right into Next tip number seven. Tip number seven. Dynamic needle tracking. Dynamic needle tracking. So we're watching that needle. It's like watching a dot on a GPS okay. moving along a map. Got you need to see that needle on the screen yeah. the whole time. The whole time. As it moves. Making sure you're on course, right. avoiding any detours. So it's not just about getting the needle in. Yeah. It's about making sure it's staying. Right where you want it. Right where you want it. Exactly. Okay, so what about <laughs> when the anatomy isn't so clear? Okay, so for those tricky cases, yeah. Dr. Barai has a great technique. Okay. Tip number eight. Hit me. Hydrodissection. Hydrodissection. So imagine you're trying to separate uh -huh. two pages of a book okay. that are stuck together. Right. So injecting a little bit of saline okay. around the vein okay. helps create space. So you can see better. Yeah. The vein's easier to see. And easier to access. And easier to access. Okay. Especially for deeper veins. Right. Or patients with difficult anatomy. Is it giving yourself a little extra room to work? It is. It is. Wow, that's fascinating. It's a really helpful technique. Okay, so tip number nine. Yes. This one surprised me. Oh, tell me. Mastering non-dominant hand control. Oh, that's a good one. I never would have thought about that. It's so important. It is. Think about a musician. Yeah. They need to train both hands. Of course. To play an instrument. Right. Same thing here. Okay. Okay. You need both hands yeah. for these procedures. Okay. So your non-dominant hand uh -huh. manages the probe. Right. Your dominant hand handles the needle. Okay. It's all about coordination. Makes sense. Technology and skill. Working together. Working together. Okay. We're on the last tip. All right. Bring it home. Tip number 10, confirmation. Ah, the final check. Yeah, this feels like a big one. It is. It's all about patient safety. Absolutely. So you use ultrasound to verify okay. that the catheter is in the right place. Gotcha. And that there's no extravasation. Okay. Which means yeah. fluids leaking out. Right. And then you do some additional checks, like, uh, blood return, uh, flushing the catheter, okay. just to be absolutely sure. So it's like a final quality control. Exactly. Just to be certain absolutely before you move on yes now i thought we were done almost but dr barai gives us a bonus tip he does yep. he's big on practice oh, of course like an athlete training in the off season makes sense he says regular simulation training okay is crucial right it lets you hone your skills uh -huh. in a safe environment yeah before you use them exactly on a real patient right it's about building confidence yes Especially for those procedures yeah. that you don't do all the time. Exactly. So ultrasound guided vascular access. Yeah. It's more than just steps. It is. Like it's about like, understanding the nuances. Yeah. Adapting to different situations. Right. And always getting better. Always improving. Always improving. Yeah. It's that cutting edge technology. Yes. And that meticulous technique. Absolutely. And always putting the patient first. That's what matters most. So what stood out to you mm. as the most valuable takeaway? That's a tough one. Yeah. There's so much good stuff in there. And how are these advancements yeah. shaping healthcare? Especially in those critical moments. When you need to act fast. Right. When every second counts. Mm. Let us know what you think. We'd love to hear from you. Woo!